Yo, what is up, Monster Club? Yours truly, the life of the party, the young girl hard, and you already know I'm the king of the party because I am the party monster. Back out with a brand new video, as you guys can see, we had to switch up locations a little bit, so we're actually in the car of Monster because there's a lot going on in my house right now, so I decided, you know, to make a better video and uh, not have so many distractions, I would just do it out here and everything, so pretty good day out here, it's like super hot, but we'll get through this one real quick, but anyway, in this video, I'm going to be actually going over my predictions for WWE 2024's King and Queen of the Ring event, which is going to happen tonight, actually. And yes, I'm super excited for this one. Honestly, I didn't get a chance to really follow up the build up to this event. I do know, like, the main matches and whatnot, but I didn't get a chance to, like, watch all the Raws and SmackDown leading up to it and everything. So, unfortunately, it might hinder my views a little bit differently on this one, but it should be a fun one nonetheless and everything. I'm definitely looking forward to it and whatnot. But, anyways. Before we do all that, I want to make an announcement real quick. First and foremost, your boy will be doing his very first pay-per-view live reveal watch-along tomorrow with AEW's Double or Nothing event and everything. I'm going to be live streaming it and reacting to it on my YouTube channel and everything. So I'm going to be posting that probably somewhere on my page and whatnot. And if not, then definitely check out my um Instagram at PartyMonster05. I'm going to be definitely leaving some description if i'm not doing it and everything i want to keep you guys up to date and everything so that more than likely this happening tomorrow i am 100 percent off which your boy deserves because i've been working like crazy all week so i definitely need some down let's get some air in this car because it is hot hot but yeah i'm looking forward to finally doing one of those and yes your boy is definitely looking to making this well not this channel but just making a whole dedicated wrestling channel which I will do once this channel hits 500 subscribers. So again, if you enjoy my wrestling content, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and we'll definitely make that happen at 500 subscribers, which we are super close. We're like 88 subscribers away. So <sighs> we're right there, guys. But anyways, yeah, starting things off, the first match of the card, we have Jade Cardgill and Bianca Belair taking on... <sighs> And I like this girl, Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae, and it's for the tag team title, so you already know what's going to happen. There's no chance in hell of Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell winning. I love them both, let's not, like, sugarcoat that, but, you know, this is just a squash match for real, for real, like, what's it on the pay-per-view? This could have been a SmackDown match, for real, honestly. <laughs> Okay, guys, so the heat started to get to me, so your boy had to break open a beer. Your boy's got himself a Budweiser, and again, I have to go to work in a little bit, so this should be fun. But, yes, and I was actually misinformed. That first match I talked about was actually a pre-show match, so thank the Lord, because that match damn sure does not need to be on a pay-per-view, for real, for real. Like, that is a two-minute squash match on SmackDown, honestly. But next up, we have the Men's King of the Ring Finals. Gunther from Raw taking on Randy Orton from SmackDown, and this one has me intrigued for real, for real, especially after Triple H's announcement of whoever wins their King of the Ring or Queen of the Ring tournament, they actually get a shot at the title at this year's SummerSlam, which I'm proud to announce your boy is going to this year's SummerSlam. We're going to make that happen. Monster Club Ohio, what is up? Your boy is coming to town. Let's go. So, it definitely has me intrigued because I can see it going either way. This is probably, like, the match I have the most difficult time choosing a winner for because Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes have a lot of history together and everything with the legacy and whatnot. But I also don't see how you have Randy win and keep Gunther strong. So, but you also don't want two faces going against each other at a big event. So... I'm going to go ahead and say Gunther gets the win. What they're going to do with SummerSlam, I don't know. Does necessarily have to fight Cody? He doesn't. He actually can go after Damian Priest. So there's that little wrinkle into the story. But I'm actually pick Gunther on this one, or Gunther. So, yeah, there's my pick for that one. Okay, guys, so next up for the Women's Queen of the Ring Tournament Finals, we have Lord of Valkyrie taking on Nia Jax and yes I'm gonna end up going and saying that I'm gonna give Laura Valkyrie the win I saw her at the last NXT takeover event and she was really impressive I had never seen her 
wrestled live before and and I just really was rocking with her that day and everything. I know she lost that match, but it was for a good cause. We all knew she was gonna probably get you know, moved up to the main roster, so it is what it is. And yeah, I mean I think Nia Jax is a great competitor, a great heel and everything, and that would be a nice little foe for Bailey to take on, but to call this chick out from NXT and to just have her lose the finals to just kind of sort of defeat the purpose, trying to build new stars and everything for the future and whatnot. So, could I see Nia Jax winning? Would it make sense? Yeah, she could take on Bailey and like be a nice little SummerSlam feud and whatnot. Would I care about it? No, no, no. I love Bailey, but I would not care about that feud whatsoever. So, I'm going to go ahead and say Love her Valkyrie with the win, and she has history with Becky, so. That could be a nice little callback to their NXT match where Becky lost, actually, and lost the women's NXT title. So, yeah, I mean, that might I, I'm definitely probably going to have that one wrong, but I'm going to still stick with my guns and say Valkyrie for the win. Moving right along, guys. Oh, and your boy failed to hit on the Travis release, so there's that i'll say it right here right now 15 likes on this video and i will do a double or nothing aew prediction video tonight but anyways next up on the card we have for the women's title we have becky lynch defending against Liv morgan and this one pains me because as a ww 2k 24 player who uses both women respectively a lot and have gotten many wins from these two it's not paying me to see the two real life counterparts go against each other even though i am not a Liv morgan fan whatsoever in real life she's cute i'd whistle at her but um, i'm more of a becky guy myself but honestly this is gonna be a fun one and i kind of see it going the way of Liv morgan winning by heel tactics and everything maybe dom comes out and helps her which sets up a nice little match between her and uh, hopefully returning Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam. I don't know the time frame for her injury offhand, but they're definitely cooking with that one. They're, they're setting up something. If it had been later in the year, I think they might have been setting up a nice little WrestleMania feud, but I don't know, this, this has SummerSlam written all over it. Rhea, Liv Morgan, and I don't know. Like I normally don't take Liv Morgan as a wrestler very seriously, but... I don't know, she's doing some decent heel work, so why not give her another shot at the title and see what she does with it. But anyways, that's my pick, Liv Morgan. Okay, guys, so next up we have, for the Intercontinental Championship, Chad Gable taking on Sami Zayn, and I don't know, I don't know why I have this, like, vibe about these last few matches, but I definitely see Chad Gable winning, like, I... I feel like he needs this so he can have a title for his new stable and give him a nice little heel push. Like, I, I just, I feel like he needs this title more than Sami Zayn needs it. Like, Sami Zayn and, like, Becky Lynch are, like, those two kind of wrestlers that I can see. They don't need a title to make them. They can do good work with or without a title. It's cool when they have a title, but when they don't, it's, they're still fine. So, I'm going to go with Chad Gable to get the win and... Yeah, like, I, I'm loving the direction they're taking Chad Gable's character, honestly. Like, I was not feeling that Shorty G nonsense they tried years ago. Like, that was the, the dumbest shit ever, but um, I'm kind of feeling what they're going with them now. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys. Main event time. We got my boy Logan Paul taking on Cody Rogues. And I know... Jim Cornette might say something on his podcast about this, but why in the hell? I get K-Fabe is, is not a thing anymore, but why the hell do you have them now announcing that Cody Rhodes is signed to Prime? I knew, like, Loki, he was already, like, sort of partnered up with Prime with, like, the WrestleMania and stuff and whatnot, but they are fighting against each other. Why would you put that out there now? Like, that's so stupid. I get it. Why Logan Paul's in this event? It's in Saudi Arabia. They love the kind of attention he brings to the WWE brand. I get that. It makes sense. But could you announce this, like, a month later or something? Like, seriously? Like, we all know Logan Paul isn't going to win this match. Let's just keep it real. I'm a Logan Paul fan. I got my world title well, on my um, United States title in the house somewhere, but... He's not going to be Cody. I would love it. I will shave my eyebrows of Logan Paul wins this match. I, I, right here, right now, I'm announcing it. 
eyebrows gone if Logan Paul wins this match because he's not going to win it. I feel that confident. Like, are you seriously going to have Cody do all this story to beat Roman Reigns two years later and then lose to Logan Paul? Like, that makes no sense. So, that's a dead issue. Like, let's not even entertain the fact of Logan Paul winning. This is not. Let's Cody wins. We all go home happy. And he takes on Gunther at SummerSlam. Like, that's the story's been written. There it is. I'm oh, sorry, guys. It's like a sweat box in this car right now. But that's going to do it for my predictions for the 2024 WWE King and Queen of the Ring event. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. And I will be doing a review of the event tonight at some point when I get some time. Or maybe tomorrow morning, depending on how I'm feeling and whatnot. And like I said, 15 likes on this video. I will be doing a double or nothing review for, or prediction and then review for um, the AEW event tonight. Well, the prediction part, the review part will come after the event because that's how things work. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this one tonight. And again, if you want me to start a full wrestling channel, again, 500 subscribers, which we are so close to. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the Monster Club. You'll love it here. We're fun. But yes, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, share with a friend. And as always, if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at PartyMonster05 and on X at PartyMonster1. But until then... Remember, this very valuable lesson. If I teach you nothing else but this, then just take it in as it is. Pause. Don't be a dick. Be excellent to each other. Party on dudes. Peace. I love y'all. Bye.